Whoa, big wreck off a turn at number two at Darlington in the Goodyear 400. Brad Keselowski, I'm going to stop doing that voice. That was a dumb voice, but Brad Keselowski around Kyle Busch also with heavy left front damage to that number 18. Going to be an interesting thing here. I know you probably forgot about it with the way the race finished, but uh, everybody's other least favorite driver does a weird thing here. It's actually kind of funny. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I don't think it's really as big of a deal as a lot of people are making it out to be. It's still not great, but, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. That's what these videos are for. We talk about these things. Kyle going to get the window net down, obviously get frustrated, parks the car right there, opening to the garage area, gets out, going to walk back to his hauler. All right. Cool, Kyle. Uh, that's a cool, cool dude. Cool, 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 cool. Going to keep walking. This is not as fast as he went through this after the Southern 500. We'll get to that in a second, but Kyle going to walk back to the garage area. Um, you know, no one getting in his way. Everyone's like, go ahead, Kyle, get out of here. AMR safety team will get to him eventually. This dude's going to walk by him and just kind of look at him like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to be there. Then keep walking. All right. Just keep on keeping on with my radio and my lanyard. But he, Kyle disappears. Anyways, flashback. No cool transition. But he's going to pull into the garage area and look at this. Look at how many cones are here. One, two, three, four cones. He's going to run them all over. Then he's going to... There's going to be some other people here in the opening, and uh, you can already see the bright neon, This these people, and then this dude up there is going to have to squirt his way out. Now, there's some interesting folks here, because you see this guy is going to be helping this other person. This person is going to be running across. Guy, tiger guy is going to have to squirt out of their way. Kyle coming through there pretty fast. Still got a cone on there, too. Good job to that cone for hanging on. Should probably do a rock climbing competition or something. Good grip on that orange cone, but... Um, the real interesting part is after Kyle does this, he mows through that garage opening. NASCAR are going to fine him after uh, $50,000 for a safety violation. This, is again, is from last year's Southern 500 in September. Actions detrimental. That's their big overarching code. Really, the cool thing is Kyle improves here because this is on the left after 2021. He completely misses the door for the hauler here in 2022 when he does and he walks back. He has some time to think about it because he doesn't go so quick. Makes it through the hauler door, but, um, you know, cool. But, obviously, Kyle frustrated, had a really good car, had a really good run going, and nothing that he can do here. Brad, I think, said he ran something over, hits the outside wall. People were trying to say Brad just drove it into the wall. I don't think, uh, you know, a champion would do that, but whatever. Um, but, yeah, uh, a lot of people angry at Kyle Busch. It's kind of funny. It's kind of cool. I wanted to break it down for you. Kyle did a really good job finally making the right door. This isn't to say anything wrong with Kyle. I think it's really funny. It shows race car driver's memory and whatnot. But overall, you know, Kyle Busch doing Kyle Busch things. You love to see it. Always entertaining. Never change Kyle. Um, except when you're making fun of my favorite race car drivers. And also as a Brad Kozlowski fan, I was immeasurably sad after this one.